like my heart was going to burst. Heavy, 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 heavy. And I felt it. And I do feel it because it's generational cycles. It's generational trauma. Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday morning and I have to check out soon. So I just packed all my bags washed my hair, did my skincare, and I'm gonna go down to the restaurant and work for a few hours. I'm gonna grab some shrooms before I go and then head home around 1 p.m. So that's the plan. So happy to have experienced Rayleigh. I'm gonna be back for sure. Definitely had a good time last night, met some awesome people. Rayleigh definitely has my heart. That lookout that I went to yesterday was probably the highlight of my trip amazing views i was basically by myself there too and it was just like so powerful overwhelming but in the best way had such a good time here super grateful but like i said i'll definitely be back hope you're all having a good day thank you so much for watching so far i love you all home with the babies Guy. since I left Rayleigh and honestly I just spent the last few days catching up on editing and making sure a lot of work is done. It's pissing down as you can probably hear and today I wanted to take some mushrooms and just go down to the beach go for a swim but because it's raining I can't go to the beach but I am still going to take some mushrooms and see where the day takes me. It's a full moon in Pisces, so I just did some journaling, some releasing and manifesting. I keep thinking about Rayleigh because it was absolutely incredible and I need to go back soon. So today is going to be a spiritual day. I want to be very connected with myself, with nature, with the rain. I hope I get some spiritual downloads, some healing and releasing energy. I'm going to take three grams today, but they're not very strong, so it's not like I'm going to have an intense experience. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to be going to PP Island, but it's pissing down. I did message them and they said it's still on, so that's good. But I booked an Airbnb in Ao Nang just so I don't have to worry about getting an Uber in the morning at like 7 a.m. and I can just wake up and quickly get to the pier in Al Nang. 
So I booked the Airbnb for two nights tonight, which is Friday and Saturday night. So when I get back from PP Island, I can just stay in the hotel room, go out for dinner, maybe meet some people. And yeah, so I'm not so isolated. And then on Sunday, it'll be my last full day. So honestly, I'll just be packing, cleaning, doing some washing, all that sort of thing. And then Monday, I fly to Sydney. Honestly, two and a half weeks here was perfect. I could probably stay in Rayleigh the whole time, but honestly, being here is kind of, I'm kind of over it at this point. Excited to move on to the next chapter, be with my boyfriend and see my family again. So excited. So stay tuned for that. I had some fruit this morning with some granola and the juice and plenty of coconut water. So my belly's full of all natural ingredients. This will ensure that when you eat the mushrooms, you're not purging or feeling sick from, you know, toxic chemicals in your stomach or inorganic substances in your stomach. So I don't know what's in store for today since it's literally pouring down, but I'm just gonna let the universe take me on a ride, but I really hope it's a safe, comforting ride, which it will be, it will be. So I'll film what I can, come along with me. Let's enjoy today on shoes. A few moments later. I wish I could have like a GoPro on my head. It just takes me around everywhere. Shrooms just let you do you. No judgment. Hey guys, it's currently Saturday and Oh my god, what a night I had yesterday. So I ate the mushrooms at like 2 o'clock and I took 3 grams and it was all good and well. I was, you know, had some visuals, my emotions came up so I cried a little bit but like it was good, it was healing energy. And then I decided to bring the cats inside. Now these cats I have formed an attachment to because I've been feeding them you know, they're little babies, they need to be fed, and their mom is pregnant. So I've been trying to contact the welfare, the animal rescue, stuff like that to see what they can do, and there's literally nothing they can do. They're saying if the cats are four months old, then they can neuter them or desex them. Now, I don't know how old these cats are. I've grown a bond to them so I can pick them up, it's no problem, I could put them in a cage and send them off. But no one's willing to do it. And I was freaking out yesterday because it was pouring down. Tropical rainstorm, basically. And they were all huddled up outside, shivering in the cold and the rain. And I was on shroom, so I was like, well, I can't leave them outside. So I brought them inside it was all good and well. I was chilling, watching Avatar 2. Then I started smoking weed. And I feel like from then on, I started getting so paranoid about the cats and someone coming by and I was smoking and everything. So I went to the kitchen just to get some water and whatever, tidy up a little bit. And the cats started following me and were meowing like crazy because they wanted food. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm... I can't handle this right now. So I put him outside and then I started just freaking out. I managed to calm myself down. I was talking to my boyfriend. Like it was like up and down basically. I would be fine and then all of a sudden I would freak out and be paranoid. So I kept telling myself I'm good, I'm good because I was good. But I kept looking at the time and that's where you go wrong. By this time it was 5.30. 5.30 p.m. I had taken the shrooms at around 2 o'clock. So it had been three and a half hours and I was still on one. Like I was still freaking out. I was still having visuals. I was still hearing things like cat meowing. I was hearing cat meowing, but no one was meowing. It was like meow, 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 meow. 
so I kept looking at the time, it was freaking me out, and I thought to myself, well, I have to go to PP Island tomorrow. That's at eight o'clock. I have booked an Airbnb tonight in Ao Nang, which is about a 15 minute drive. I would have to get a grab to go over there. It is torrential rains, torrential rains. And I'm like, is this tour even on? So I started freaking out because I'm like, what am I doing then? What's my plan? I, I kind of don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go to this Airbnb. So I was trying to figure it out, but I couldn't. I couldn't figure out what time it was, what day it was, how long I have left here. That was freaking me out because I only have three days left. I leave on Monday, it's Saturday. And I feel like I hadn't processed anything that had happened when I was like in Rayleigh and when I first got here, like it was just, I was just cruising through life, not really thinking about it, being very present. And I feel like it all hit me at once. And I realized like, whoa, I've just done a lot. I'm doing a lot, I'm by myself. My card got stolen from the ATM machine again when I was in Rayleigh, so I haven't had a card. So anyway, back to yesterday. I started feeling better around eight o'clock. At around seven, I have ran out of water. And I'm like, I have to go get water. I have to get dinner for tonight. I have to figure it out. So I ran over to 7-Eleven, I got what I needed. I was in there, kind of still on one, by the way. Went home, started feeling better, and then I started trying to figure it out still, like what was my plan, what am I doing? Trying to figure out my flights, like I couldn't process it. And I feel like I should have just chilled, but of course I would chill if I didn't have a plan. That's the thing. Never have a plan when you're gonna do shrooms. Like, never have a plan, oh, I have to do this early in the morning, or I have to do this tonight. Like, don't do that. Plus, it was torrential rain, and I was stuck inside. I couldn't really go anywhere. And it's a full moon and a Mercury retrograde and I'm by myself. Definitely when you take shrooms, do it with someone. Maybe do a smaller dose. Don't do it stuck in the house. Like be able to go somewhere if you need to. And don't do it on a full moon. And don't have plans later. That was yesterday, Friday. Now it's Saturday and I was supposed to go to PP, but it was raining in the morning. I was super tired. They were supposed to pick me up at 7.45 and I had gone to bed maybe at like 11 and I was just not up for it. Couldn't do it, so I canceled it, but it started pouring down rain and I was like, I don't even wanna be out there if it's weather like this. So I canceled it. I probably won't get my money back, but that's okay. Apparently it's pretty cloudy, but it's still not raining in PP. Um, weather's better here too. So I thought, okay, I have the Airbnb. I'm just gonna go to Ao Nang, check in, and then just go for a walk, maybe get a pedicure, cause I need to get my hair done and I need a pedicure before I go to Sydney. And then I can go out for dinner tonight in Ao Nang. Hayley recommended a restaurant called Mama's. So I'm gonna go there. I finished work this morning. I only worked a couple of hours. And now I'm about to go to our noon. So we're all caught up, but yes, I wanted just to talk about yesterday because um, you do have negative experiences as well. It's kind of like it was everything all at once. Like I was, at one point I put healing music on, on YouTube, and it was a dude like regenerating his body, like it was a visual thing. And it was me, like I was like, damn, this is overwhelming with how connected I am right now. Like. I am on another level of consciousness. I don't know why I've decided to take three grams alone on a rainy day. When I took the two grams in Rayleigh on the beach, it really wasn't intense at all. It was more like a microdose even, but I didn't set my intentions for this shroom trip. And I had just done my journaling for the full moon before I took the shrooms too. So that could also have caused that kind of energy that releasing full moon manifestation like everything all at once <laughs> intention is everything and i feel like it was just even when i woke up yesterday it was just weird weird energy i can't really explain it but i'm excited about today now that i'm getting ready i would decide to just put some makeup on you know try to look cute because yesterday was heavy 
but I've got everything figured out, so I'm happy about that. And I've been editing all week, so I haven't had the chance to just chill. And I feel like all I did as soon as I had the chance was to take shrooms. So it was just like everything was heavy. I feel like talking about it too right now on camera is really making me process it. So that's good. I can watch it back later too and share with you guys. It is a psychedelic. It is literally a mold. A mushroom is like a mold that you eat and it like poisons your body. That's why you go into a different type of consciousness because that's how powerful these shrooms are. Also, if you've never done shrooms before, do like two grams, two and a half grams. The environment is very important. Definitely be out in nature. Don't be cooped up inside. Mm -mm. Last time I had a bad experience on shrooms, we were in the house in Mexico and we didn't leave the house. I did it again, I just didn't even think, but it was good at first, like the messages that came up. Definitely some healing, healing about past relationships, realizing my grandma's trauma. It was so heavy, like my heart was gonna burst. Heavy, 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 and I felt it. And I do feel it because it's generational cycles, it's generational trauma. Anyways, I'm already feeling much better, looking cute. I've packed all my stuff for the night. So going to head to our Nang, our Nang, and I'm gonna check in. So you guys can come with me. Just arrived at my Airbnb. It's actually pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. And I have an amazing view. It's only twenty dollars a night. Fuck! I just almost just fucking fell, dude. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high. Tell them turn the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't gotta say shit. Mm. And I know you taste it a little bit. Mm. High maintenance. Mm. Everybody else basic. Live life on a day basis with poetic justice. Poet justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you win. You're in the book for empathy, blood in my pen. Better yet, with your friends and them. I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you off. Fuck not, pour up plenty of champagne. Cold nights, nice, you curse this name. You called up your girlfriends and y'all curled in that little bitty which I heard that. She wanna go and party, she wanna go and party Nigga don't approach up with that Atari That ain't good game, you miss sorry They say conversation, rule a nation I can tell, but I could never write my wrongs So I write it for real, P.S. You can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it Good morning guys, it's officially my last day in Thailand. I leave here tonight at 6pm, the car's coming to pick me up and my flight is at 9pm and I'm heading to Sydney to meet my boyfriend there and then go to Cairns on Friday to be with my family. So very excited about that, I'm kind of over being alone, I'm kind of excited to be with my partner again and have some company. So yesterday I was still in Ao Nang and I got my hair done, just the roots and a little chop at the end. Honestly, not the best job. And I got a pedicure, again, not the best job, but it is what it is. That's why I do everything myself. And then I did my nails last night, just some press-ons from Bangkok. And I just put a coat of top coat. So cute, I actually really like them. So, considering that I leave tonight, I have to pack today, tidy up a little bit, also do a lot of work. And I just dropped off my laundry to the laundromat 
should be ready at 5 p.m. So I'll go pick that up at 5. It's raining. I had to walk in the rain, but it's all good. It is what it is. It's rain season. I picked up a caramel macchiato, so I'm going to sip on that while I work and pack. And then I walked past this random vintage shop and I saw this and it looks really cute. Just a white shirt. I definitely need to wash it, but anyways, I thought it was so cute with the blue and the white. Just to throw on, you know, and supporting his business. So that was my adventure in the morning in the rain. I'm now going to make some breakfast, wash my face, do my skincare and get started on some work. So that's the plan. I'll see what I can film today, but honestly, it's just a packing day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Krabi vlog. I had the best time. I can't wait to be back and to bring my partner this time. So very excited for that. Stay tuned for more vlogs. I'll be vlogging in Australia when I can and also when I'm back in Sri Lanka. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll talk to you later, but if not, I love you all. Stay blessed, stay healthy, keep your mind right, focus on your goals, your dreams, your healing journey, so important. And remember that like you're so unique, you are one of a kind and you deserve all the happiness in this world. And you can chase your dreams, you can manifest your dreams, you can make it happen. So just focus on doing what makes you happy, focus on what brings you joy and love and peace because that's really what's most important. Love you guys.